Okay, so it is April 2. It is like 12.30. Actually, it is 12.31. And I'm going to start this vlog now. So, we just finished our reading sprints. Basically, I started the reading sprints and it all went really fine, but I was having so many technical issues. Uh, Chrome just, it, I think I had a really hard time with like the capacity or something like that because Chrome kept like failing and then reloading and then it would put me back in the reading sprint, but then it, it would like fail again. So I couldn't share my screen for the timer because that was too much for it. So I thought, okay, if I just don't do that and put like time updates in the chat, but then even still, Chrome just struggled really well today, so we, we were able to get through a half hour and a 45 minute sprint, which allowed me to get a decent beginning into this book. But hopefully in the future, when we do more reading sprints for this readathon, we won't have as many technical issues now that I know like what to expect and we might be doing it on some other host channels and they are much more equipped to do this than I was. So I started the toll. I want... I wanted this book to be the book I do in reading sprints just because it is the longest book and it is uh, the book that I really want to finish over these two weeks. If I do nothing else, I want to finish this book. <laughs> Hopefully, I will do other things though. Like I know I'm going to finish some of the manga and I have some audiobooks of other books and I even have an ebook that I completely forgot that I downloaded the ebook of the next book in a trilogy. But I have it, so <laughs> yeah. So this is The Toll by Neil Schusterman. It is the third book in the Earth of the Tri- <laughs> Arc of the Scythe trilogy. And I loved the first two books, which is kind of great that I love the second book because most of the time in trilogies, the second book is like the worst book for me, either like poorly written or I just, I just don't do middle books very well. So the fact that I really enjoyed the second book, Thunderhead, is very promising. Um, and I'm enjoying the toll so far. I'm 80 pages in. I was hoping to get through to 100 pages, but I couldn't do the last half hour sprint that I wanted to. So, oh well. So that's kind of the opening of the vloggy vlog of this. We are now going to finish packing and get ready to go. I have an overnight surprise for Brennan because yesterday was his birthday and so we celebrated, which is why the readathon starts on April 2 instead of April 1, because I wanted to let him have his birthday. But I do have other plans, so we're gonna go. I can't say what exactly the plans are to you yet because he's right over there and he doesn't know. So we're gonna get ready to go on our little overnight thingy and I will update you later, probably when I've read a manga, honestly, so. All right, it is April 3 at 9.30 in the morning. We are in our Airbnb, and I was gonna update you last night, and then I didn't, but I did get some reading done. Not the reading I expected, but I got some reading done. So I haven't made any progress on the toll because I didn't bring it on this trip, but it was a five hour drive from uh, where we live to Milwaukee, and so I got to start listening to the third book in the School for Good and Evil series thing. It's literally like a trilogy and then a second trilogy, but it's also one series, like the fourth book is also considered a first book, uh, but I'm going to count it as one long series because we're following the same characters, uh, even if it's a new set of plot points, but Yes, I am almost halfway through. I'm not quite halfway through, and I am really enjoying it. There was one thing, there was a miscommunication issue that was bothering me at the beginning, but that got resolved already, so I'm really glad that it didn't last all book long. It still took a while just because it's a big book, but like because we're going back and forth between POVs, it wasn't literally the entire first half of the book, so I'm just really glad that that's getting resolved now. Um, so I, I'm very much enjoying it. It's so fast paced, but it's also so big that I'm like, oh my word, what's gonna happen? And I'm really intrigued. So I'm hoping that for the five hour drive back, I can get really close to finishing it so that I can almost finish it. And then that's one of my biggest books for the readathon done, uh, but it's over audio. So like, it's a lot easier to read chunky books over audio. Really, it's the toll that I need to 
me to focus on. Uh, I did bring Spyx Family Manga to read on this trip, just in case I had a few spare moments. I don't know if that's actually going to happen, but I can just quickly read it some other day. It was just so that I got some reading progress done, but I have with The School for Good and Evil, so I am happy. Now we just gotta figure out what we're gonna do today, and then we will drive back. So I'll catch up with you guys later. back home. So it was a very nice and successful trip, I would say. We had a wonderful time. We went to the Milwaukee Public Market and they actually had a little rack for books for a dollar. Like it was just this tiny little rack, you know, like two shelves, both sides, um, but they were having books for a dollar. So I thought I'd just give a little look-see through. You saw it. And uh, yeah, I picked up The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware because I read One by One by Ruth Ware and I very much enjoyed it. And I've heard some good things about this. And the Spring Fling Halloween is happening at the end of April. So I thought this would be a great book to fit the backlisted prompt uh, because I've been wanting to read more Ruth Ware. And this is one of her, not older books, but like not published in the past year. So I'm probably gonna have this for that prompt which is really nice because then I have one out of my two books chosen for that, which is kind of nice. The other one, I want it to be a thriller book, but the prompt is just like yellow or pink on the cover. Um, so I gotta figure that out yet. Yeah, we had a wonderful trip. I listened to The School for Good and Evil number three, the last ever after, the entire way home. I still have three hours left in the audiobook. Like I'm not done, but I'm like at the very beginning of the giant end scene. So I am really excited and I'm really intrigued. I wanna keep reading. I love how fast paced this book has been. There was miscommunication and that irked me, but it got resolved faster than I thought it would. And I like how it was resolved. And I also gotta remember, you know, these are kids, they're still learning. So like, it, it wasn't that bad. Uh, I, I can deal with it. There's a little part of me that still wants it to be like 4.5 because of it, but like, Everything else about it I loved so much, except for one other thing. So it probably will end up being a 4.5. It depends on how this ending goes. But like, the prince, I have a hard time with him because I want to like him and I know I should like him, but I just feel like he just really is a spoiled prince brat who just spine kind of goes whatever way. Like, I don't know, I just thought he could have been a little bit better. Like, I believe that Agatha deserves better, but I love how Sophie's character has played out. Uh, I'm just really, very happy and satisfied with how that's happening. Mad Descendants 3 vibes. Like, so much in Descendants 3. I kind of want to rewatch the movie now because the vibes are so similar, but... Anyway, so yeah, I'm very much enjoying it. I hope to finish it soon. Probably not tonight, but you never know. Um, I gotta work on uploading my reviews to Goodreads because I've fallen behind on that. Otherwise, I might read like Spy X Family. Um, but yeah, so that was our trip to Milwaukee. Very short, but very fun. And now I'm gonna be home again. I do have to work tomorrow. Normally I don't work, but tomorrow I do because I took a couple days off from work for this trip. It's, I will catch up with you guys tomorrow, probably after work, unless I get significant reading done tonight, but probably not. So it is late at night on April 3rd. Like it's almost one in the morning on technically the fourth, but I finished the School for Good and Evil 
Number three, I finished listening to the audiobook. I absolutely adored it. And listening to the audiobook for this one has made me realize that I think I rated the second book a little too highly because now that I know how good the first and third books were, the second book just wasn't quite as good so I didn't want to give it the same rating. I've had this struggle with the past like two to three trilogies that I've read, like uh, The Serpent and Dove and The Caraval. Once I, I like, I love the first books, which is normal. And then I read the second books and I love those. And then I read the third book. And the next thing I know, I've rated the entire trilogy five stars. When in reality, like one or two of the books just weren't quite as good as one of the other ones. So I've been kind of brainstorming, changing my ratings to be a little more accurate of how I feel about the book now knowing how good the author was in other books so i might lower my rating for the second book a little bit lower just because i didn't like that one quite as much as i ended up loving this one and the first one so but yes uh we are like within the first couple days i finished one of my books one of my chunkier books and i'm really happy so i officially finished the first uh my first prompt which will earn me my first badge of completing one prompt so I will post about that tomorrow because I'm super excited but I'm also super tired right now. I did go do like the dumb thing which is not really a dumb thing and I downloaded the next book. School for Good and Evil number four. Starting the Camelot Years trilogy which also is number four in the School for Good and Evil series. I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna prioritize that. I think it's crazy that I, I did that and that it was actually like available for me to download from the library. But yeah, I'm gonna shift my focus and my attention to other books of other series that I want to continue. Um, but I do have the fourth one now to keep going. But yes, yeah, so I completed the continue a series prompt. I'm not counting it as completed trilogy because there are more books. It's just complicated and I want to make this hard on myself. So, yeah, I'm going to shift my attention to physically reading The Toll. I also completely forgot that I have the ebook for A Light by Scott Sigler, which is the second book in the Generations trilogy. And that ebook expires in like five days. <laughs> so I'm going to turn my attention to that. I'm going to keep reading The Toll. I'm going to read the manga soon. Like, I have so many reading plans, but I need to work, so we'll see. Um, but in terms of audiobooks, the, the next bunch of audiobooks that I have is completely crazy. I went to the library a couple days ago, and I saw the Three Dark Crowns series, and I thought, oh yeah, that's, been, that's one I've been meaning to read. Um, and I went on to... Uh, my library electronically to look at the audiobook situation for those and all four audiobooks were available so I downloaded all four of them which was not my plan at all whatsoever like like I have a prompt that is start and finish a series within two weeks and I wasn't gonna go for that prompt like, that prompt is there for people who actually aren't in the middle of a lot of series or have been wanting to pick up a series or just something fun and a really big goal to go for i had no plans of going for it myself but now i might just do that so i have the first two books physically from the library but all four audiobooks i really wanted to finish on actually finishing and continuing current series I wasn't gonna start anything new but here I might start something new so but we'll see like ugh, I have these books for more than two weeks I have them for 16 days yet as of like today so like we will see because I really need to turn my focus on to physical reading to actually read the series that I'm currently in that I want to like the toll and the manga and a light and like literally my entire tbr video so i'm a mess it's late at night i'm gonna go to bed i'll update you tomorrow when i come home from work about what i moved on to so good night
So it's now actually the next day. It's April 5. I filmed some clips of me going to the bookstore the other day and then I got home and just never actually elaborated or filmed anything. So I picked up quite a few books. I kind of discovered half price books here. Like it's a chain book thrift store type. They also have new books but they do sell used books and for some reason my brain just never like registered it as a thing or a possibility so i went there and i discovered how wonderful they are and i bought some books and because it's a new month my budget has been renewed i bought three books uh i bought specials by scott westerfield it's the third book in the ugly series i believe there's an adaptation coming out i heard rumor there's an adaptation coming out so i am getting the rest of this series and i might reread it maybe do a reaction when the adaptation comes out I'm excited. And then because, you know, I figured that this is uh, my readathon about continuing and finishing series, so most of the books here are series related. For example, Escaping from Houdini by Carrie Maniscalco. I have been purchasing these books, this series, one book every year and reading it for Halloween, like every year for the past two years. So I picked this up because I saw it and I was like, perfect, now I'm all set to go for next Halloween next year I'll buy the next one and I think there are only four there could be a fifth one but I'm pretty sure it's just capturing the devil and then that's it and then I can move on to uh, Wicked Kingdom or whatever I don't know but so I picked this one up very excited I'm not giving description of the books because they're all the middle of the series but I they're so far a series I would highly highly recommend <laughs> and then I can't believe I did this so if you haven't seen my unpopular book opinions video, I'll have it linked somewhere above here. Uh, basically where I talk about authors that I either haven't read or I've read and aren't interested in reading. Same with like genres, tropes, you know. Just like kind of some of my unpopular opinions, not necessarily um, for a tag, but just kind of for fun 
like I think it was I think the title of the video is like popular authors I don't read or haven't read or something like that and I mentioned uh, Sarah J Mass as one of those authors I read one of her books way back when and uh, it was not for me at the time but recently I've been sitting here and I've been thinking you know it's kind of not fair that I'm not giving her another chance because I'm pretty sure if I were to start reading them I would love them but also at this point I just feel like I'm so far behind and then I saw <laughs> I'm almost so embarrassed and then I saw this at Half Price Books so I bought it my plan <laughs> I know I can't believe it crazy right so my plan is to slowly accumulate this series and read it for pretty much the first time. I don't remember anything that happens in this book other than our main character is an assassin. That's all I remember. So be like I'm reading this for the first time and I will continue on with the series for the actual first time. So I'm gonna vlog that experience. I'm gonna vlog me reading the series for the first time. But before then, I'm going to slowly accumulate it. So I, I broke down and I bought Throne of Glass. I think it's gonna be so freeing because I know I'm gonna love these books and then I bought one more book this was actually off of thrift books rather than um, half price books uh, but you know same concept I bought it in good condition apparently rather than like really good or something uh, but that is the school for good and evil the last ever after this is the third book in the trilogy slash six book series it's kind of like what happened with shadow me where there's an original trilogy and then there's a secondary trilogy that kind of got smushed into one series so this is the third book or the final of the first trilogy i finished reading this as you all know because i literally talked about it earlier and i loved it so much and then it came the next day so <laughs> i thought perfect so that's my little haul i am gonna probably end up doing a haul video somewhat soon, either at the end of this month or next month after I pick up May's books. But yeah, so these books will make an appearance, but these are all the books that I got within my $20 per month budget, I'm telling you. If you don't need the book new, look for it not new, you can save some money. So yeah, also one thing I'm going to add in this update is that I revived my Kindle. <laughs> Woohoo! So, I, I don't really use my Kindle unless I have an ebook to read on it, and I do own a few books on here, but otherwise most of my ebooks are from the library, but I always try to avoid that and just get the audiobook, just because my Kindle is so old that it doesn't hold charge for very long. Uh, but I got the second book in the Generations trilogy called A Light by Scott Sigler, and I am reading this as an ebook, and I like it so far, I guess. I, for the most part, remember what happens in the first book, but I wanted to finish the trilogy through the library to decide if I wanted to keep the first book or buy the rest of the series. So I'm finally making progress on that. This is kind of my new priority because it's actually due in like four days. So I'm going to be reading, then I'll go back to reading The Toll. I have lots of options at my disposal, so I've got lots of reading to do, so I should really get to it. So that's what I'm going to do. See you later. Hi. So, I'm gonna set you down there. Um, it is Wednesday early evening, kind of. I have made it to 30% in A Light by Scott Sigler. I am, I am liking it. I, there's just so much inner dialogue that gets in the way and it makes it feel like the story is going really slow. Uh, but that's just because she keeps questioning like the same things over and over analyzing everything and I and I can't tell if it's just like a, I got to get used to it to enjoy the character or this is just insane way too much um, But I'm 30% of the way so hopefully it'll pick up a little bit They just keep discovering more questions and it's fun, but it's just I don't know. I keep wanting more uh, so I'm obviously in the car and I'm going to Irish dance uh, at a local pub so there's this thing called Kaylee dancing and that's like the big celebration dancing you know where a bunch of people come together and they have fun and like all the dances are pre-choreographed and 
like not even choreographed they're like really simple um so i do this every wednesday and i think it would be really fun to vlog a little bit of it we'll just see how self-conscious i am but i've been going for weeks months now and i very much enjoy it um it does cause me to stay up way too late past my bedtime but oh well so i'm going to head inside i just wanted to give you that mini reading update and hopefully explain the next clips of dancing so cool bye probably I just got home from work uh, I didn't vlog yesterday I fully meant to and then I just kind of didn't um, it's been a little crazy because I filmed my video on Wednesday which is already late for me normally I film it on Monday but I actually picked up a shift on Monday so I didn't have my normal like filming day for videos and so I filmed it on Wednesday which was already late but then I had so many issues with technology um my phone didn't want to upload the clip so then i was i was plugging it into my computer to like manually do it and my computer just updated and it no longer recognizes my phone when they're connected so i i can't figure out how to get my clips onto my computer to edit to upload so that's why Wednesday's video has not yet gone up. Uh, I have all the footage for it. It's my March wrap up. Um, but I'm like really annoyed and stressed out that that's not uploading. And then I don't know if this vlog is going to be able to upload either. So I'm just going to keep filming. And whenever I finally get it to work, you'll probably have like a plethora of videos. Like I won't wait to post them um, because I want to still give you the same amount of content, even if you're waiting for it longer. So just yeah just so you know I'm trying <laughs> I am trying so very hard but uh, I got halfway through a light and it's it's there's half of me that's really excited about it and half of me that's really not I have a hard time with the writing I it's just not keeping my attention even though the story itself is keeping my attention I think there's too much inner dialogue. It feels like the author is trying out different writing strategies or elements and it feels inconsistent and like weird. Um, it's just very choppy, it's not very smooth. Uh, but I do really like what's happening with her characters, how they're kind of becoming more human, you know, they're, they're discovering that they can lie and that they can swear and like just kind of all these things that children don't do but they're not children anymore so they're kind of figuring that out as well as other things. Um, but yeah, I, I'm definitely going to finish this book because I want to know how it ends because there's just so many unknown elements. But depending on how it ends, I may or may not pick up the third one. I would like to because it's a trilogy and then I'd be done. But if it doesn't capture my attention more than it has been, I might just DNF the series. So... That's my reading update. I'm really excited for tomorrow because I love my Saturday shifts because I don't have to wake up at 4 in the morning. Um, but also because I work alone. So I, even though I'm not supposed to, I'll put a singular headphone in and I can listen to an audiobook. And it's an 8 hour shift so like I can generally get through at least one book if not like a book and a half or something like that. So I'm, I'm really excited to kind of plow through another book. I feel like I just haven't finished anything this week because like I've started a bunch of stuff but I've really only finished one book and we're already one week in. We're already one week into April. Oh, I just feel like there's so much more I wanted to do uh, but we'll see. Today I have plans this evening. I would love to finish a light but depends on how slow I feel the book is and how 
slow I read it, but if I can finish a light, I would be very happy. Um, but yeah, I have a game night planned tonight, so we shall see. Okay, so it's like barely any later. I haven't done any reading or anything like that, but I just looked to see <laughs> just looked to see when a light is due back in the library because I know I've had it for a while. It's due in 20 hours. <laughs> and it's almost four o'clock. So I basically need to finish this book before I go to work tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm only halfway through. Uh, it's only like 400 pages, so like I could do it, but I'm just, I was not expecting that. I'm so much more stressed. Okay, so I gotta get to it. But good news is though, uh, I finally, finally, finally got the video onto my computer so I can edit it and put it up. It will probably end up going up tomorrow just because now I need to focus on reading. But, um, yay! <laughs> Videos will be going up again. It's Sunday morning. I meant to vlog yesterday and give you an update and then I didn't because I was tired and I had a lot to do. So, uh, this is going to be the closing clip for this vlog. If you enjoyed it, I will be starting next week's vlog probably in like five minutes. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. Feel free to subscribe to keep following on these vlogs. But I do want to say, Saturday I read another book. So if you watch my March wrap up, then you know that I read a spy espionage novel uh, per recommendation of my coworker. But he recommended me the second book and there are only two books out. And I think there are only two books in general. Like, I think the series got dropped or something. So I had read the first book in March. I just read the second book in, uh, or yesterday. Like, in April. Yesterday. I listened to the audiobook while I was at work. And I have to say, it was better than the first one. I was able to follow it easier. I liked where it went. Um, I still think it was kind of long and that some parts could have been taken out to have better enjoyment. But like, I love the family elements. There were parallels between the sisters of what was happening and how they were each finding out the same thing, but from different ways. There were some tricky, sneaky characters, which was fun. So I enjoyed it a lot more. Um, I, I'm not sure I'll rate it on Goodreads, but it was kind of more of like a 3.5 for me. I'm still not gonna rate the first one, but yeah. So I have now finished my second book in this readathon, which I am so much further behind than I thought I would be, but it's okay. So I read, if I can read one more book, then I can earn the next badge, which would be uh, completing three prompts. So I completed um, Finish a Duology and what? Oh, Continue a Series. So there I go. Uh, I Today, my main goals are going to be reading more of A Light, or at least finishing this if I can. I did on audio start uh, Three Dark Queens, or Three Dark Crowns. I started Three Dark Crowns by Kendari Blake, and I have all four books on audio, and I have the first two physically from the library. So they would have to fall, if I can read the entire series, then I would be able to complete the bonus prompt, and I think that would be really cool. I would really love to do it. This is a series I've been wanting to read, and I am all ready to go for it. But I also need to sit and focus on finishing other series. Otherwise, I'm kind of looking at Hunt of the Grimalkin, because those books are really short. So those are kind of on my radar for the moment. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, next week, the week two vlog will be going up and that starts today. So how fun. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below if you're participating in the readathon or if you are in the middle of so many series, what ones you want to focus on. I have bookish social media linked down below so you can go and follow me there. But until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading. Thank you.